Kyle Leflock. I'm the Vice President of Outside Plant for Cloudwise. Uh, Marty McDermott, Chief Operating Officer at Cloudwise. Uh, so Cloudwise started uh, quite a while ago as a managed service company that ventured into fixed wireless broadband. Uh, and then more recently in the last couple of years has started working with fiber optics and working throughout the uh, eastern part of Carolinas here with several different counties, um, just putting fiber to the home out there. Our vision is to provide all of rural North Carolina with high speed broadband. So one of the things that we've noticed from COVID is the digital divide across America. Uh, some of these smaller communities, when kids had to do e-learning, uh, when offices and warehouses had to shut down, uh, they did not have the infrastructure in place uh, to do uh, the necessary remote work, whether it's telemedicine, students doing homework, or even doing e-commerce or business. Uh, so we really took it as a mission for Cloudwise to bridge that divide and make sure that in the future these towns have the necessary broadband technologies like a utility with electric and water so they can compete with the larger cities and keep their residents um, connected to the world. So we have multiple projects in flight right now um, in multiple counties throughout eastern North Carolina. Uh, Nash County, uh, we're building out fiber and fixed wireless assets. Harnett County, we also have fiber and fixed wireless assets. And then in Martin County, North Carolina, we're doing fiber. Yeah, so we're, um, you know, from the fiber side, we're using, uh, you know, Hexatronics as our, our main fiber uh, platform. Um, you know, we, we want to make sure we have quality products out there, so we've been going with quality brands. It really started with the crunch for materials. When everybody else was at 52 weeks, that just doesn't work for us. <laughs> so um, we were introduced to Hexatronics and um, I wasn't comfortable with uh, microfiber at the time just because I'd never used it. Uh, but as the Hexatronics team came on, on site and actually walked us through everything, showed us the product and really built that comfort level up, especially um, you know, looking through the, the schematics and, and the different technology, that sort of thing. It really built up that confidence level. Uh, and then on top of that, when they started showing us lead times and, and how quickly we could get the product and really how much they cared about what we were doing, that just that made it easy decision at that point to move forward. They saw our vision and they were one of the very few that can meet our aggressive timelines. Working with them and sharing what our vision is, they've been nothing but outstanding to work with, making sure we have the necessary supplies. They're very flexible when we need to pivot due to some challenges in certain areas. Really the difference between really Hexatronics and traditional fiber, uh, Hexatronics is more conduit based versus just strand based for fiber. Uh, I initially had some uh, questions about because I just didn't have a lot of confidence in, in the difference, but once I started working with it, really the from an engineering standpoint, the concepts are the same. You're building duct work out to uh, all locations, all structures, whether it's business, residential, all that sort of thing. Uh, but you can scale at any level, so you can put as much fiber as you want into each one of those ducts. Um, if a development pops up or just you're looking to expand your network farther and farther, you're going to have to build over top and that's where it gets really expensive. Uh, Hextronics is just future-proofing our builds.